What's up, YouTube? It's Young Men's Daily RP back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of the Red Pill Sunday Sermon. I appreciate you guys for checking in. All the new subscribers that are out there, thank you for tuning in. If it's your first time in the Sunday Sermon, let me know in the comment section and hopefully this message speaks to you. I do these once a week to encourage you guys to read you guys from the original RP uh, book, the most RP book in the entire world, which is the Bible I read from the King James Version. So if you do want to follow along, Feel free to pull out your Bibles and read along with me. We are reading from the book of Proverbs today, and I'll be giving a real world example as we dive into today's topic. For those of you guys that might need real life examples or analogies to follow along, I will be providing those in this video. So with no further ado, let's take out your Bibles and let's read from the book of Proverbs. This is Proverbs uh, chapter 14, verses one. All right, guys. Every wise woman buildeth her house but the foolish plucketh it down with her hands. Okay, guys? And we see, we're seeing this happen a lot, especially in the entertainment industry. Um, you know, Kim and Kanye West, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West recently just went through a divorce. And what happened? Kanye is moved out of his own house while Kim is living there with the kids and a lot of Kanye's money still a lot of all the wealth that he built for himself, the lifestyle that he built. Now he has to leave that a lot of it, or at least half to her and as well as his house, as well as his children. All right. His legacy. And unfortunately, you know, when you have a mother like that, when you build up a, a legacy with a woman that is a succubus, that is a Jezebel spirit, like a Kim Kardashian, like anyone in that Kardashian family or any of these modern day um, Hollywood type of women that have built their career on promiscuity and breaking up households. That is what you are left with. And that is something that unfortunately our brother Kanye has to deal with right now. And I've heard reports that he's cut her off on a lot of things, but still that hurts. And you know, it is going to have effect on his children and he is a man of God. And I've realized that, you know, he probably would be married still if he didn't go out of his way to be more outspoken about his faith and his journey and his his change you know he changed himself and notice how she was there for him when he was dark and he didn't have a path but as soon as he found his purpose and he started to be a good role model a good father in the media immediately he was tore down and she wanted to leave him because guys in scripture talks about this darkness has nothing in common with the light okay so if you're out here you're a good man, you're a good, hardworking, honest man that is a man of faith, um, that has a relationship with God, a lot of times what happens is you will be attacked and you won't be the most popular. You'll have Satan attack you, whether it's through women, whether it's through your friends, maybe even your family members, people that are closest to you, they won't always be feeling you like that. And it is a path that more often times than not, you're lonely, you know? You walk through this life alone and you're a lone wolf and there's nothing wrong with being a lone wolf i'd rather be a lone wolf than be a sheep and be led by a shepherd you know to the slaughter and another example from proverbs 14 that i wanted to bring up in the real world that we could relate to is the whole scotty pippen larsa pippen uh situation that happened you know scotty pippen arguably the second best player in bulls history behind michael jordan was the robin to michael jordan's batman you know they're the dynamic duo in chicago that won multiple championships and arguably were one of the, was one of the best teams in all of history and they built up a legacy through hard work, perseverance and sacrifice. What we saw happen to him was he got married at a very early age to a woman uh, in Larsa Pippen with the Jezebel succubus spirit and they had kids together and obviously after the NBA Scotty had more time on his hands to be around the house to be more of a father figure he wasn't always out on the road like he used to be and Larsa got bored with that lifestyle she even said it in a couple interviews and just like the scripture says a wise woman will build at their house all right and what did what did we see as soon as Scotty came back as soon as he was more of a family man he wasn't in the NBA anymore he couldn't bring in as much money but he was retired and you know he's spending more time with the family we see her messing around with future and then scotty decides to take her back because i think in a moment of weakness you know he, he wanted to make things work i'm sure for the kids and you know for himself as well because he had built something up with this woman instead of building himself instead of building his own purpose and being detached from this woman you know he put his trust into a woman and he built this house with her which is what the verse talks about here and after her entanglement with future she got back with scotty after he gave her a diamond ring only to leave him again for a NBA player that's 24 years old 
and you know it's literally like the same age as her son which is really sick in, in the first place in my opinion and he's living in that house while scotty's still paying for it and scotty is still occasionally living in that house as well so it's all types of messed up man and fellas this can happen to you okay if you mix your energy and you build up your house with a foolish woman not a wise woman a proverbs 14 woman if you build your house up with a woman like this she will create a living hell and she will tear down your house all your hard work all years of sacrifice everything you built up can be taken away in a moment of lust and weakness because you're not strong in your faith you're not strong in the word and you're not strong mentally and you don't have control over um the sexual aspect in your life over your mindset a lot of men are led by the flesh and this is why i try to tell you guys if you do choose to build with a woman make sure that woman is a woman of god all right and there are a lot of things to look for in a woman of god she's not just going to proclaim to be a woman of god she's actually going to show you guys she is a woman of god read the bible look for things all right guys test her i make videos on this so you guys will make the right decision if you choose to do that me myself i choose not to do that okay i'm not necessarily looking to um, be involved with the modern woman in today's era okay but you might be different i'm not going to discourage you from doing it i will just leave you guys with my content um the things i've said in the past to make your own decision but at the end of the day that's up to you and if you do choose to live with a woman to build something with her just realize a wise woman will build her house up but a foolish woman like larsa pippen like kim kardashian all these celebrities that we see that are ruining their households they will tear down that household and cause chaos confusion and will have other men living in something that you built up through your hard work in a moment of weakness and foolishness because you liked how she looked because you put your trust and your faith in a woman and your hope in a woman instead of the most high so fellas that's the message i wanted to share with you guys today before you click off the video drop a like hit that subscribe button if you're new and turn on bell notifications let me know your thoughts on this topic as well and until next time i'll see you guys have a good one peace i'm gone